Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am still playing Night Sky. Still playing is a series that I plan to do here rather infrequently, let's say maybe once a month. And in this series, I'll take a look back at the previous several weeks of games, and I'll tell you, out of all of those games, which one particular game still has my interest more than the rest. Now, in this case, it's Night Sky. The sad truth of the matter, though, is that Many of the games I play never see the light of day after that initial impressions video. I play them, they're fun enough, but they're very quickly deleted and forgotten. Sometimes I reinstall a game months later and rediscover it, but for the most part, these games fade off into obscurity. Night Sky, however, has proved to have a staying power which is heretofore unprecedented. I have really, really played the crap out of Night Sky, if I can be so frank. So we'll take a look here at some footage from Night Sky on your screen. And uh, why have I continued to play Night Sky? Well, you're seeing part of the reason right now. This contraption. Um, not specifically the contraption itself, but the, the varied type of gameplay that this contraption signals. This game has a very simple concept. It is a physics-based puzzle platformer. But it's kept my attention by constantly varying its gameplay. Here you're seeing me tackling a simple puzzle, gear-driven platforms. It's all about timing, nothing more. But this, mixed with the contraption before, and mixed with the interesting level mechanics that are to come after this constantly keep me coming back. This game excels by not doing one particular thing for too long. It gives you several scenes of physics-based platforming, then it treats you to an odd contraption, then it gives you a variation on a pinball game, then the next time around it will give you a, uh, a more intricate physics-based puzzle where you actually have to uh, start a platform in motion and then time you, the rest of your movements through the level to the movement of that platform. There are some fantastic things that this game does and all in all it has proven to be a very addictive experience for me. I have come back to it time and time again. Look at this fail right here. That is just heartbreaking. Right at the peak, right at the precipice there and just could not get over it. Mm, I cringe a little bit every time I see that. So Night Sky, it has held my attention it has made me feel as if my entire purchase of the Indie Royale second difficult bundle was justified through simply the fun I've had with this one particular game. Indeed, Night Sky is proving to be surprising in many ways. As I completed the game, I have now completed the basic levels in the game, it unlocked a very surreal uh, bonus stage. The bonus stage is a, is a gated level set that actually requires you to go back to previous levels and find alternate exits. Those alternate exits reward you with stars, and the stars will remove certain gates at certain points in the uh, bonus level. So, very quickly in the bonus level, you will reach a place that asks you to uh, have six stars collected in order to go any further. Once you collect those six stars, you will eventually uh, reach a place that will ask you to have eight or ten stars, and so forth and so on, until you get all the way through the bonus level and you complete 100% of the actual game. Once that's completed on normal difficulty, you can actually go to the secondary difficulty, the advanced difficulty, which changes all of the levels and makes them more difficult. So this game, even though I've played through it and I'm very near to 100% completion, on the normal difficulty, I have I have not yet tapped the depths of this game truly because I have an entire set of of new levels basically uh, looking at uh, staring at me as as yet uncompleted. So I'm very excited to continue forward, and you're seeing some of the things about the game right now on your screen. Um, I have no control of my ball right now, and this is something that they use brilliantly. Um, I can't control my ball, I can only control aspects of the machinery on the level. That is such a refreshing bit of gameplay, and it it happens right at the right time. Um, I believe that Nicholas Games heavily tested this game and developed it 
in such a way that they knew the points at which the, the player would be tiring of a specific mechanic. And they knew exactly when to throw it in. And you notice that section where I was controlling the, uh, the gears and the platforms? It was short, but it was just enough to refresh me. And now I'm back to some more puzzle platform. Just a brilliant little game. I highly recommend Night Sky. And after all this time, after what must be a month now, I am still playing Night Sky. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. <laughs>